everybody. So hope all of you are enjoying your quarantine, lockdown, social isolation, whatever you want to call it. Something that Chris and I came up with while we were stuck inside the house for the last week is why don't we do something fun called Apocalypse Kitchen, where you take food items and you create something amazing and delicious and gourmet with them. So as you can see, I have some bagels rock hard, uh, but instead of throwing them out and wasting them, which is a no-no, use your food as much as you can, um, I'm going to go ahead and make it into a bread pudding. So I microwaved the bagels because, as before, they were rock hard. Um, and then I took uh, heavy cream, milk, four eggs, and basically just kind of made just a simple like batter, nothing really fancy. And of course, you can add any spices you want to it. I added. Um... <laughs> that wasn't tied on there. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Um, I added some they vanilla. Can't go through any waste. <laughs> I added some vanilla, nutmeg, cloves, and of course cinnamon. Um, but like with with these two, add just a tiny little bit because it's rather strong and it'll overpower uh, your batter. And because these bagels are so sweet already, um, I didn't add any extra sugar because these are really sweet. Yeah, really sweet. But good though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the real star of the show. <laughs> so where did the whole idea of Apocalypse Kitchen come from? Um, I mean just with with how many shows I watch, like Chopped and whatnot, the fact that we went to the grocery store, there was just nothing, like absolutely nothing in our grocery store. It kind of felt like the apocalypse, and it's like, okay, so the stuff that's left in the grocery store, it's like, what would you make? And that's kind of where the whole like apocalypse kitchen kind of came from. Yeah, I, I hope that you know this little show encourage you, encourages you just to get creative with the things that you have lying around your house. I mean, we went and got noodles. Somehow, miraculously, found a thing of hamburger and tomato sauce, and we made American chop suey. And that's you can make a lot of it, and you can eat off of it for days. And then we just kind of want to give it a, a stir so that all the pieces soak up all this good batter. And get nice and moist. So we're going to let this batter sit for just a little bit and let bagels soak up all of it. So what are you throwing in there? I'm just putting in a few butter cubes just to give a little more moisture once it starts to bake. Yeah, just gonna... Not as bad as Paula Deen, though. Oh no, Paula Deen would put like, what, five sticks of butter? Maybe five, maybe six. Maybe five, maybe six. Filling container will work just fine. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, filling is a Pennsylvania Dutch name for stuffing, bread stuffing. But in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, where I'm from, we call it filling. <laughs> no. Spillage. Spillage. No, stop taking pictures of filling. <laughs> Fatality. No fatalities will be discussed here <laughs> other than us eating the bread pudding. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, stick a lid on it, and then we'll preheat our oven to 350. 350? Okay. All right, into the oven we go. No idea what this is even gonna look like. <laughs> so, what are your hopes and dreams with this? My hopes is that uh, it cooks. My dream is that it tastes good. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Be it to the birds?
What do you call that? It's bread pudding time! <laughs> it's bread pudding time! <laughs> We're gonna just check and see. How it's coming along. Oh, not quite done yet. See how it's kind of runny in there? We don't want that. Alright, so if it's runny, put it back. Yeah, because that means the eggs and the milk haven't all quite set yet. Uh, so. Back into the oven it goes. That was it. It smelled really good. It's kind of like these. You wish you had smell of it. <laughs> Is it ready? It's ready. Is it ready? I think it's ready. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, there we go. So explain again what people should be looking for. Um, so with bread puddings, you want them to be set. So like no like juice or like stuff using anywhere. But I'm just gonna let this sit. Kind of let it like steam for like five or six minutes just to because you don't want to eat it quite yet because it does kind of need to set. <laughs> so we'll come back in minutes. Yes, yes, my fabulous bread pudding. I cannot wait to devour you. <laughs> Okay, so I've let this sit and steam for like five-ish or so minutes. Now it's time to try the Apocalypse Bagel Bread Pudding. See, it smells really good. All right, let's... So remember how I said about how I wasn't gonna add any sugar because the It needs sugar, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean it's still really, really good. So what you could do guys, um, you could just add some confectioner sugar, just dust it on top, and make it look pretty. Really good actually. Yeah. And it's kind of like so the bagels that we have in this are French toast bagels. So Kind of tastes like I'm eating a like breakfasty French toast casserole, which of course you could do too instead of a bread pudding. You could do like a casserole. Just that one thing, sugar. <laughs> so if you could rate this as a super easy to Definitely make, definitely super easy. On an apocalypse it's... level, though, what would it be at? Hmm. Like, would this be good for a dire straight? Like, barely have anything in the kitchen? No. No, his eggs. As you've seen at the grocery stores, we're kind of a huge commodity, and they still are. The Stop and Shop out by us, they are limiting uh, eggs to two dozen per person. This is kind of a frivolous make. I mean, you could, you could still do it, you just have to skip beyond your eggs. Or if you have chickens, you can use all the eggs you want. You have chickens! <laughs> this probably would be on a level of, I have no idea what to make, kind of want something a little sweet. Mm -hmm in a normal circumstance that I might have some bagels that I haven't used yet. I mean, or you could use any kind of bread product that's going stale. If you happen to get like a huge baguette, like a French loaf, and you use half of it for something, and then you come back the next day and it's hard as a rock, you could essentially turn that into a bread pudding of sorts. So where can people find this recipe? I don't know what it's written, but I'm gonna say, um, don't really have a recipe, I kind of just made it up today. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but if there are people wanted to replicate this, yeah. you can check it down below. Link's in the description. Give some rough estimates of what you need. Mm -hmm. At least the ingredient list. How are you making it all your own? Look at them. Children have some apocalypse. I hope it isn't too soon. <laughs> If you want to see more, stay positive, guys. 
Clip your little hearts out. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Alright, cameraman going in. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you want to see more videos like this, let us know down below in the comments. And this is cameraman proof. Yay! <laughs> Definitely tastes like bagel. That's really but neat. And yeah, I agree. I do agree with you. It definitely needs a little, sugar. A little bit of sugar. Here, try like a, an eggier piece. Ah, eggy. Need some sugar. <laughs> a little bit though, not a lot. And battery's going low. Bye! <laughs>